Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adara and in this video I'm going to do an introduction to Retool AI for 2024. In the last couple of videos in my intro to Retool series, we've built web apps, we've built workflows, but what if we wanted to bring in AI into those web apps and workflows? Well, now we can do that with Retool AI. So the example app I'm going to be going through today is Outbound Email Copywriting. I actually did a whole nother video on this. This is the actual app that I built to automate my personal outbound emails as a salesperson and generate 1.2 million of pipeline. So you should definitely check out that video at a high level to see the possible impact this kind of app can have on a business. But for the purposes of an introduction or an introductory tutorial, this video is gonna focus more on the step-by-step -step nuts and bolts of how to put something like this together for you. So the very first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and navigate to our Retool instance. And I wanna show you um, where to set up your AI, Retool AI. So I went to resources, which is where we can bring in any database, any API, any LLM, and click on the Retool AI uh, configuration page. Now, if you're in a free account and are using Retool AI for the first time, you should have free credits in here that you can use just to build any application. Um, but essentially, as you can see, you can connect OpenAI, Anthropic, Amazon Bedrock, Azure, as well as custom providers like Fireworks, Mistral, and Together AI. So you can completely customize this and easily toggle between different LLMs depending on the job that you want to do. So that's as far as we need to go for setup for now. So let's go ahead and dive right into creating our Outbound AI Writer web app. So the way I imagine this app being used is for salespeople and um, uh, anyone on the sales team that needs to write emails to be able to do it swiftly and intelligently, even better if they were even just were a good writer. Um, so first we want to have a title of our app here and then we want a chat component on the left and I like to have a container on the right just to store um, to store example prompts because people aren't always gonna think of the best prompts on the go, so we might as well store them here so that they can easily copy paste the prompts into the chat component. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and add some um, chat components here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste some prompts here that the team can use. Awesome. So now, just with connecting the chat component, which is already connected to Retool AI and pasting prompts, you can pretty much go in here and just start using, um, using the app as if it was GPT, which it is because it's connected to it. But right now, the app doesn't really know anything about Retool because it's, we haven't told it anything, right? So what we need to do is connect it to a vector store. And a vector store is basically data that we give it uh, that it can reference so that it's knowledgeable about whatever we want it to be knowledgeable to, and then it could create better emails. So the way we create the vector store is with Retool Vectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new vector store, and let's just call this demo uh, outbound email vector store, click document, and anything in a PDF format or anything in a text um, file format, we can vectorize and use in our applications. So for the purposes of this example, I went ahead and created a super long form prompt here on how I want this AI to sell retool for me. And then I also created a bunch of example emails that I've written and just I stored them so that it has a sense of how I like to do my copywriting. So since this is text, I'm gonna click add document, add plain text, and call this instructions for selling retool. And then I'm gonna copy this and click add plain text and call this example emails. Perfect. Now this vector store is gonna be ready for us to use. I just have to make sure to refresh 
this application so that it can, I can allow it to reference it. So back to my chat component and back to the chat query, we can see it's already connected to Retool AI. The action is generate chat response. We're not gonna need to touch the input and message history since that is allowing it to save and reference the chat history out of the box. So we don't need to change that. Personally, I like the temperature to be at about 70%. And then uh, I'm gonna want it to reference my uh, vector store here. And so, oops, <laughs> I just unselected that. <laughs> Perfect. And so now it's gonna know about this particular way of selling and it's gonna be able to use that in its output. Last but not least, we can also configure the model. Again, uh, Retool AI comes with GPT-4 out of the box for you to play with and a bunch of credits. So you should definitely take advantage of that. And then we're gonna save this chat component and it should be done. And so now when we copy paste this prompt, the quality of the emails should be better and it should even reference and sound like uh, the emails that we put in the vector store. All right, so this looks much better. This is a more realistic example of a short, punchy, to the point email that I would actually write uh, in a follow-up email. So this is an example of a really practical app that you can build with AI in just five minutes uh, that saves your team a lot of time. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna walk through how to automate this entire thing with a retool workflow. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and please drop any comments that you have in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day.